friends, I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage, and this will be the final Christmas video of the year, but it's not exactly for Christmas. I did want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a happy and safe holiday season. And with that said, I will begin our project. Someone had given me this very pretty glass carafe and you can see it's got this silver around it and I don't want to decoupage over that. So I'm just adding some low tack painters tape all around the silver and I'll put it around the handle also because I don't want to decoupage on that area. By the way, they gave it to me because they said they knew that I could decoupage it and do something different with it. <laughs> Uh, so the next thing that I did was I took some decoupage glue and I added it into a container but I also added a little bit of iridescent pearl medium inside of this and I mean just a small amount I want my paper to stay sheer and then I mix the two together and I can still decoupage with this but it will have just I mean a hint of the iridescence in there. I just wanted to have a little bit more of a pop than just a regular shiny glue. Now I am taking this mulberry paper. It is very sheer. This is not tissue paper. There are very fine fibers in here. This is not as thick as a rice paper, but it's a little bit more substantial than tissue paper. And what I'm going to do is make two piles because one side is going to be the hard edge up here that's going to go up against any hard edges that I have on my carafe. And then the other pile I'm just going to tear into different size pieces of paper, about that big, some smaller, some larger. It's not anything that you need to get perfect. And I'm going to place them in two separate piles, enough so that I have enough pieces of paper to cover my project. And you may be working on votives, you could be working on a pitcher, a bottle, anything that you have around the house that you were thinking of maybe discarding, or even a jar you just wanna practice on, just make sure it's clear. And everything that I'm showing you here is available on my website. So I'm just going to tear these into two separate piles. And once I have these into the two separate piles of paper, I'm going to decoupage and those hard edges are going to go, when I say a hard edge, it's very straight like that. It's not the torn natural edge. I'm going to go right up against the tape here. And you may want to make these pieces smaller depending on what you're working on. And I'm just going to cover the whole bottle, all of the glass, I'm sorry, the carafe, I'm going to cover the whole thing. And I'm just going to place the, I'm having a little trouble getting a grip here. <laughs> I'm going to place the paper down. Now, because the paper is so sheer, I'm putting it down on the dry glass. And I'm using a an artist brush and it's got a flat head on it. You can use a sponge, sponge brush. I find that you have a little bit more control when you use one of these smaller artist's brushes. And again, I'm going to go around the whole surface, all of the glass, and I'm going to cover the whole surface with this mulberry paper and the decoupage glue that has a little bit of the iridescent finish inside of it. Once I covered the whole surface, I then went over 
everything with another coating of the decoupage glue. You want to make sure all of the papers are laying down flat. And then, just as a little hint, uh, any leftover papers I put inside of a baggie, and I even write on the front of the baggie what the papers are. Now don't forget, you can do any theme that you would like on here. For Christmas, you can use anything with a Christmas theme. Don't forget, some of these can be very hard to cut out. There's three snowmen on here. They may not all fit, or snow people. They may not all fit. That butterfly looks beautiful. You could do a seashell themed one. I am using these birds today because I am going with a winter theme and I like the light blue color and I'm going to cut out some sections of this napkin and these small scissors are invaluable. Again, they're on my website. When you're cutting out these very small patterns and you don't have to get it exact, but you want to make sure that the background color of the napkin is light enough so that it doesn't stand out against the background that you have on the glass, which is the mulberry paper. So you see how I'm not cutting this exactly? Well, I'm kind of going a little close here, but I'm trying to just get as close as I can and you don't have to follow the pattern exactly either. I'm cutting out some pieces that I want and I'm going to place these to the side. Something else that's very important, you want to make sure you don't separate the napkins yet. Make sure there's still the three ply so that you don't have a hard time cutting these images out. Now in order to help you know where to place your images on your glass, you can just take the other side of the napkin or another napkin with the same pattern on it and see how they were placed out on the napkin because that can help you know where to place them on your glass so that you just don't sporadically place them all over the place. These napkins were made to, me, to be very appealing and they know about design and the placement of things. So just follow the design of the napkin and you'll be able to get a better idea on how they're going to look nice on your glass. And once you're done with that, then you want to separate the napkin so that you're only working with the top level of the napkin, the part with the image on it. Okay, I'll slow the video down for this portion. I'm taking my decoupage glue. Now this is just plain decoupage glue with nothing else in it. And I want you to notice how I am applying the napkin. I'm using the napkin up above the carafe, as you can see, as my pattern. And I'm taking the acrylic brush, rather than a sponge brush, and I am carefully working in sections at a time, working normally from the center out or the center down, and that helps tremendously with wrinkles so that you don't have the wrinkles in there. And you also have to be gentle with the napkin. And I am going to follow those same instructions and you can see that the color is light enough where it kind of blends in with the back. It, it does show up a little bit, but we're going to add something a little later to help with that also. So I'm going to go around just this side of the carafe and finish this. And when you are all done with this, you want to put this aside to dry. You can put it in the oven at 100 and put it in a cold oven, set the oven to 170. When it reaches 170, turn it off and leave this in for about 20 minutes, then take it out to cool. And now we can add our top coat. Triple thick is one of the highest gloss top coats you can find. And since I'm working on glass, I'd like to stay with that very bright sheen and keep this looking glass-like. You cannot use a sponge brush with the triple thick. You also wanna be careful not to overwork it, meaning you should not go over the same spot again and again and again. It will self-level and I'm putting extra around the top because it also works as a very good glue. By the way, 
never put triple thick in the oven not that it's flammable or anything but it will burn and brown and i learned that the hard way after completing a whole project and putting it in the oven and the whole thing turned brown so no triple thick in the oven and what i'm going to do is you see around the top i'm putting quite a thick coating of it that's because i'm going to pour some chunky coarse very sparkly glitter on the table and I'm going to like a margarita glass put this in that pile of glitter before you put the triple thick all over this whole piece of glass whatever it is you're working on you want to take a knife and just quickly remove any of the tape that you have on here with the triple thick you'll be able to use your brush to get enough control. You see, I still have the tape on here in this shot, just ignore that. But I'm putting the triple thick all over the whole surface. Then I'm going to put this aside to dry and really put it in a nice dry room. It only takes about a half an hour and you're ready to continue. Now I want to add tape back over these places because I'm now going to use a spray adhesive over the back of this bottle here's the spray adhesive and again all of this is on my website and I'm going to also use a bowl to cover the front of this because I only want the chunky glitter on the back and don't forget at this point the triple thick has all dried and here's this is just a cardboard bowl and I'm putting it around the pattern here so that I can use the spray on adhesive and not get it on the front. And then I'm going to put a lot of this chunky glitter on the back. And I'm going to use the triple thick again on this short brush. And I'm going to use it as a glue. And I'm going to outline a few of the branches. And then I'm going to pour a different glitter on here because this is a bit more of a fine glitter and I'm sorry I did not have my camera on this is a pouncer brush that I first pounced in the triple thick and then over the surface but still avoiding the birds and I added glitter over that as soon as you're done you want to place these brushes in hot soapy water and clean them off and when you're done, remove all of the tape. And I'm just going to show you how this looks in a few different lights now that it's completed. I'm also going to add a tool ribbon around the handle there. And in the meantime, thank you so much for subscribing. Subscriptions are everything to us here at YouTube. So thanks again, guys. Please feel free to ask me any questions. The link to my website is below. You can get all of the supplies there. Upcycle with Decoupage is also on Facebook. Please go over and like and follow the page. You'll be notified every week when I put a new video out. And once again, I'm quite happy to help you with any questions you have, or if you'd just like to make some comments, I'm all ears. Have a very Merry Christmas and a beautiful winter. I will see you guys next week with another video. Bye-bye.